Hey welcome back. In this video we will going to be looking at let and const and understand the difference between var, let and const. So let's take a look at some example. So let's see if we're gonna create a variable over here. We'll call this person and we'll give a name to this person let's say James and then you just want to print out the uh, person value over here. So if you run this, this will print out James, awesome. So this is as expected. Now, what if someone else come in and they created a new if statement here and they obviously said if the value is or the statement over here is true, at that point, I want you to do something else. So let's say they wanna print out that person again, but this time what they're doing is changing the name of that person. So what they're doing is creating a new variable and they also name that same thing, which is person and what they did is change this to Jenny and you do print it out so they are just printing that out to uh, person over here now what's happening is if we hit run what do you think will actually happen well let's take a look there you go so our actual person value over here it got updated from James to Jenny well we didn't expect that right so if let's say developer one wrote this you didn't want this to change you still want this to be James because we are doing something else with uh, James over here like let's say we're expecting something else for James to do here but now because this statement uh, this particular code came in it updated the value now instead of James Jenny is doing all the other thing and we don't want that right so to get rid of this they came up with or uh, basically but they, they came uh, JavaScript came up with let so the way let works is if I change this to let and if I hit run now there you go this time it's Jenny which is obviously this one this is good and the second one uh, which is we are printing out over here this is actually James so what's going on here so the difference between var and let is that var variables can be redeclared and updated so in this scenario you came in you redeclared that variable over here you updated the value and then when we changed that it got updated everywhere else and we didn't want that right but with let it's different let is blocked scoped what that means is anything in this curly bracket it's only going to be scoped to that so if over here we change this value to anything else it will only affect this particular block it won't affect anything outside of it which is extremely helpful right because when someone is doing something else we don't have want it to change everything else that they did or everything else where that variable is being used so to get rid of that they actually came up with let which really helped out with bunch of issues where people were creating one variable and creating the same name variable somewhere else and it was affecting the code base and you keep running into bunch of bugs so that's the beauty of let so let can be updated but it cannot be redeclared all right so now let's take a look at what const does so if i let's say update this to const and then change the next one to const also what do you think will happen well let's run there you go it's the same thing nothing changed so it's still James it's still Jenny nothing exactly change over here so what's the difference with const so with const what's happening is let's say if I come in here let me first change this to let and here I can actually do person equals um, Jordan for example and if I hit run if you notice we changed this from James to Jordan because we just changed it over here right and this time obviously if you're thinking hey how did that change well because the scope of this is global so this particular thing is global and this is the blocked scope this is anything particular between this curly brackets so we change this to uh, Jordan we updated the value and now this is actually Jordan but what if you want to create a variable that you do not want the value to be changed right there might be some scenarios where you create it he's like okay I want this to be locked like some kind of username or password that you do not want to be changed so to get rid of that what you can do is use const and if I hit run there you go this time it's telling me hey assignment to constant variable is an error basically it's giving a type error calling assignment to constant variable so what that means is once const is declared you cannot update or redeclare the value of const so I cannot come in here and also do let's say const person do Jordan nope even that won't work it will say hey identify person has already been declared so this won't really work right but technically if we do that let's say with var well that would work because obviously we tried it out and we just changed this to uh, Jordan but with when we do it with let well here's the thing same error identify person has already been declared so like I said let and const cannot be redeclared unlike var so that's the beauty you get with using let and const so the final piece of advice I will give is that try to avoid using var in your code base and just stick with let if you want to reassign the variable 
and in all the remaining scenarios use const and you will see in our code base when we will get down to writing tests that we will be taking advantage of let and const a lot and you will not see var at all in our code base so there you go that was a short introduction to var let and const hope you got that and if you did try this out on your own try to change some variables try to print it out put it in a function put it in different uh, loops and see how that changes and once you kind of get a good understanding of how this is working move on to the next lecture and i'll see you there